One year ago, newly unemployed Wisconsin workers flooded the state with an unprecedented number of unemployment claims. Yeah, our I-team has told countless stories of a broken system that's failed a lot of people. Today, the state still has not fully recovered. As the I-team's Sean Gallagher reports, changes are in the works, but there is still a long way to go. I immediately filed for unemployment, not knowing that I wasn't going to be qualified because of my disability. A year ago, thousands filed for unemployment, many for the first time. Some are still waiting. I don't know if they really understand the impact that is 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 taking on us, the toll that is taking on the people who aren't able to pay their bills. The Department of Workforce Development could not tell us exactly how many people were outright denied benefits. A spokesperson says in 2020, 207,000 were denied regular unemployment, but might have qualified at a later date. Another 57,000 were denied pandemic unemployment assistance, the federal program under the CARES Act. But some may have been eligible for regular UI instead. The more difficult problem that people are having, and which really came to light with this pandemic, is just how difficult this process is. Labor attorney Victor Forberger says people may have been tripped up while applying for benefits. Every week, applicants answer questions to continue receiving their unemployment benefits. In New Jersey, there are seven questions to answer. In Wisconsin, there are 127 possible questions. The head of the unemployment division, Mark Ryle, says not everyone has to answer all 127 questions. But for some, it's as few as 20, depending on their situation. But he admits it can be a cumbersome and confusing process. I can see where people may have been confused, you know, could get confused by some questions. And, you know, they're could provide some answers that they didn't mean to provide. It's ridiculous. Susan has been waiting nearly a year for benefits. She found the application process confusing. The Sheboygan resident asked we not share her last name so not to hurt her current job search. What I was told was I put a check mark in the wrong place. So I got denied and now I appealed it. Forberger believes small mistakes like Susan's led to multiple denials. It is as complicated as doing a tax return. At first glance, the 127 questions may seem pretty straightforward, but simple mistakes could make you ineligible. Take, for instance, questions 11 and 12 that ask whether you're able and available for work. What may come across as a simple question to some may be rather broad to others, especially those who are filing for unemployment for the first time, even during a pandemic. But these are extremely important questions because the state could disqualify anyone who answers no to these questions. If you don't understand the terminology used, you don't understand how DWD understands unemployment law. Last year, the Department of Workforce Development announced it was trying to rewrite the questions in plain language. We are trying to uh, clarify the questions, make them uh, more understandable to people so that they are not making those kinds of mistakes. Forberger participated in public comment on the proposed language. He says little changed. When they proposed some revamp questions and the changes were so minor, how to put this politely, they were inconsequential. The DWD says the plain language change is only a first step towards making UI more accessible, especially for first time users. But to those still waiting for benefits, it can feel like they're left behind. I had no idea that this would happen, that this would take this long, that this process would be withheld for so long. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher. Sean, thank you. The Department of Workforce Development is pushing for additional changes to state law. They say this will help more people access unemployment benefits. Find that when you find this story at TMJ4.com slash unemployment. Faces of unemployment one year later continues on TMJ4 News at 6. We'll look at the pandemic inequality, why it will take some people longer to bounce back than others. And at 10, how a community is coming together to help others struggling to make ends meet.